Hi all, in this video we will be looking at Tracker Plus in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. Tracker Plus is not an effect which is provided by DaVinci. You need to install this from Reactor. You can find the guide to install Reactor on our DaVinci Resolve over there. So you can install this Reactor and this Tracker Plus. If you are wondering what this Tracker Plus is, it is same as Tracker Node. But it got some features which will take this tracker node to a whole new level. First feature is the option to track one frame forward or one frame backward. You can find this on the tracker tab itself. It is one of the feature that is missing from the regular tracker node. Second feature is the option to set a reference frame. In regular tracker node, we can set the reference frame manually but the option is very limited so it is little bit confusing but on this tracker plus we can see which frame is set as a reference frame to use this on the regular reference set it as select time then use the set current time as a reference frame button to set the reference frame just select the frame and click on this button it will set that frame as the reference frame and you can clearly see which frame is used for reference frame and last feature is the export option. By using this, we can export tracker data into a transform node. There is mainly two type of tracker data. One is stabilization data and other is match move data. And by using this export option, we can export these two datas. So to use this, choose the export option. Select the type of data that is match move or stabilization data. Then from the type, linked means after creating the transform node, we can still change the track point using the offset option on the tracker node. While in baked, we can't do that. Also in baked, all the keyframe from the tracker node will be copied to this transform node. Then from the tick boxes, you can choose the parameters that need to be on the new transform node. After that, press OK and wait for the transform node to fully load. Especially if you are using the baked option, you need to wait a little bit longer to fully generate the transform node. Otherwise, the transform node will be incomplete. It won't have the complete data of the tracker. So that's all about this tracker plus effect. I hope you guys find this video useful. If you do so, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.